Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics Textbook by S. Timushenko and D. H. Eng, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set to 2.4 and problem number 2.43. Forces of 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 kN are acting at one of the angular points of a regular hexagon towards the other another angular points taken in order. Find the resultant of the system of forces. That means just consider a regular hexagon. If one force is acting along this one, the remaining forces are acting like this. This is the second force. Third force will act like this. Fourth force will act like this. And fifth force will act like this. Given that one of the angular points of a regular hexagon towards the other angular points taken in order are if you take the first force may be uh, like this one force if you consider like this the second force may be taken in order is pointing towards the other angular positions maybe like this like this and like this 1 2 3 4 5 okay so this is the given problem now let us see how to solve this problem so i have taken my first force is along this line the remaining all other force directions may be towards like this towards the other angular point so this is another other angular points if i take this is my first angular point all these are becomes the other angular points so first i have taken my first force is 2 kilo newtons taken in order that means the second force starting from this point and towards the other angular point means this is 3 kilo newtons next force is 4 kilo newtons is along this one next force 5 kilo newtons is along this one and the last force 6 kilo newtons is along this line given that this is a regular hexagon angle between these two adjacent becomes 120 degrees but since it is a regular all these are having equal angles and that means this angle is 30 degrees this is 30 this is 30 and this is 30 total these two becomes 120 Similarly, angle between these two becomes 120, these two becomes 120, these two becomes 120. You know very well about the hexagon. That means this is the given problem. The given problem is like this. There are five forces. Their magnitudes are like this. Their angular positions are like this. Our interest is to find the resultant of all these forces. As usual, let us transfer all these four forces, five forces along x-axis x and y-axis. Since 2 kN is along acting along x-axis, so you need not to resolve anything. So 2 kN force is like this. Now 3 kN force makes an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal. So I can resolve this 3 kN force. One is along x-axis and another y-axis. The horizontal component becomes 3 into cos 30, the vertical component becomes 3 into sin 30. Hence, this magnitude are 2.58 kN and 1.5 kN. Similarly, 4 kN force, I can resolve along x-axis and y-axis and this makes an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal. Hence, horizontal component is cons component that is 4 cos 60 and vertical component becomes 4 sin 60. So, that I am transferring that I am drawing on xy plane as 2 kN because 4 cos 60 is equal to 2 and the vertical component 4 sin 60 that is 3.46 kN. Next force is 5 kN. This is vertical force or it makes 90 degrees with the x axis. Since it is a vertical force, there is only a vertical component and there is no horizontal component. Next force is 6 kN. This 6 kN force makes an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal. This is in the second quadrant. This makes an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal. So I can resolve this component like this and like this. 
So the horizontal component becomes 6 into cos 60, vertical component becomes 6 into sin 60. Hence, I can return 6, that is 3 kN along x axis because 6 into cos 60 is equal to 3. And the vertical component is 6 into sin 60, which is 5.19 kN. So there are 5 forces total. All those 5 forces are resolved along x axis and y axis. Now, our interest is to find the resultant force. Hence, I will find the net force along x axis and net force along y axis. So, net force along x axis. There are three forces towards right side, one force towards left side. So, I will take this side is my positive direction. Hence, net force along x axis is 2 plus 2.58 plus 2 minus 3 kilonewtons, which gives the value of 3.58 kilonewtons plus. That means this direction is along this one. And net force along y axis, there is no force acting in the downward direction. All forces are acting in the upward direction only. Hence, I can find net force along y axis is 1.5 plus 3.46 plus 5 plus 5.19, which gives the value of 15.15 kilonewtons acts in the vertical direction. The x axis force is 3.58 kilonewtons net force. And net force along y axis is 15.15 kN. These two form a resultant force. The resultant force will be calculated like this root of fx square plus fy square. And upon substituting, you will get the value of 15.6 kN is the resultant force. And the angle made by the resultant force is sigma fy by sigma fx. Now here y component is positive, x component is also positive. That means this is in the first quadrant. So this is sigma fy by sigma fx which gives the value of 4.23 or the value of alpha is equal to 76.7 degrees. Hence this is my resultant force of magnitude 15.6 kN and the angle made by that resultant force with the x axis is 76.7 degrees.